teeth are a multi-layered hardened tissue buried in the gums. Once the dental enamel and dentin, the outermost and second layer of tooth structure, becomes affected by tooth decay, caused by the proliferation of bacteria on and between the teeth, a cavity or hole begins to form. Once that happens, most dental professionals agree that treatment, by filling the cavity, is the only effective approach one however, there is some anecdotal evidence that dental cavities can be potentially improved through home remedies such as dietary changes. Most importantly, proper oral hygiene and regular dental care can prevent most cavities in the first place. Consult your dentist. If you have or suspect you have a cavity, e.g., you are experiencing toothache, tooth sensitivity, pain when eating or drinking, or stains, you should see a dental professional right away. The dental profession has a number of efficient ways to stop tooth decay and support the health of your teeth. Fillings are the most common form of treatment and involves removing the decayed part of the tooth and filling the region with composite resin, porcelain or other materials. Evidence in favor of natural treatments is extremely limited and dated. In fact, the one study that does suggest that a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, meat, milk, and vitamin D dates back to 1932. It's best to get the care you need as soon as possible. The earlier you get the cavity treated by a dental professional, the better the chances of preventing the progression of the cavity. Moreover, if a cavity is treated before you even experience any pain, you likely won't need more advanced, and costlier, treatments, like a root canal. Get more vitamin D long known to be beneficial for general bone health, vitamin D boosts your calcium metabolism and induces cathelicidin, which is an antimicrobial peptide that attacks the bacteria known to cause dental cavities. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin that is not easily available through your diet, although fatty fish, like salmon, mackerel, and tuna, are an excellent source of the vitamin. Instead, get plenty of sunshine, though you can't wear sunscreen to metabolize vitamin D so limit your time to a maximum of 15 to 30 minutes a session. During the winter months, when sun exposure may be less available to you, you can also take vitamin D supplements. Consume more foods that contain vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is a naturally occurring compound similar to vitamin K that is integral in the development of facial bones, including the teeth. As it is generally lacking in modern diets, making a concerted effort to increase your intake may help heal your cavities naturally. Vitamin K2 is typically found in fermented foods and animal products such as, animal, especially crab and lobster, innards skate liver oil bone marrow. Try fermented cod liver oil to get those fatty vitamins. Some studies suggest that cavities occur in part due to a lack of fatty vitamins, vitamins A, D, and K, in modern diets. The fact that this fish oil is fermented, rather than distilled, means that it is still chock full of vitamins D and A, both integral to the remineralization of your teeth. If you can't get or don't want to try fermented cod liver oil, you can add more vitamin A to your diet by eating large amounts of chicken liver or goat cheese, or drinking whole milk. Keep in mind that it will take 2 ounces of liver, 17 ounces of goat cheese, and 2 gallons of milk to equal just 1 teaspoon of fermented cod liver oil. Likewise, you can add more vitamin D to your diet by eating large amounts of salmon, eggs, and again, drinking whole milk. To equal the amount of vitamin D in 1 teaspoon of fermented cod liver oil, you'll need to eat 18 ounces of salmon, 5 dozen eggs, and 21 gallons, 79.5 L, of whole milk. Consume foods high in calcium. Calcium helps strengthen teeth, so increase your calcium servings. The easiest way to do that is to consume more dairy products, like milk, cheese, and yogurt. Calcium can help remineralize your teeth. If you can, try eating cheese. Cheese helps stimulate saliva which in turn restores minerals to the teeth and washes away remaining food particles. Use mineralizing toothpaste. You can buy fluoride-free toothpastes that can also help remineralize the teeth and make them stronger. Note that these toothpastes may be more expensive than your usual brand. 
You can also make your own mineralizing toothpaste if you want to save some money. Combine 4 tablespoons of coconut oil, 2 tablespoons of baking soda, 1 tablespoon of xylitol, or 1 8 teaspoon of stevia, 20 drops of peppermint oil and 20 drops of trace minerals Oregon calcium slash magnesium powder. Monitor the healing process. When you have a cavity, bacteria, and acid will stain your tooth. Variation in color indicates the extent of the damage, a darker color means a larger cavity. When you are working to heal a cavity, check back and see if you notice a change in tooth color. In addition, consider the sensation of pain. If the pain seems to be changing from a long-lasting, throbbing pain to a more incidental pain or sensitivity to hot and cold foods, the cavity may be improving. However, if the pain intensifies, you should consult your dentists for treatment. Note any food impaction. When a tooth fractures, food can get stuck inside the cavity. This creates a wedging effect and causes discomfort and sensitivity. In addition, it can greatly impair the healing process. Watch for fractures. Depending on the size of your original cavity, your cavity-filled tooth may be significantly weaker than a normal, healthy one. If you are opting not to get dental treatment, be especially aware of this.